Power View in Excel. Now, you may be familiar with uh, pivot tables, which were widely used to analyze data in tables or even other data sources. Well, Power View, I don't want to really compare it to a pivot table because it's not, but it's another way to analyze that data quickly and in a very visually appealing way. So just to give you an idea, I have this table data on a sheet. And if I go over here, I have the sheet called uh, Power View 3. Now I've done this previously. So we have things here mapping uh, the data. We have a chart, we have a table listed, we have another chart down here. And all of these things are dynamic and we can move them, we can resize them. And they're changing, of course, with the, with the data. I can visually sort things quickly just by clicking titles. So from a user's point of view, these views are actually really nice. Over here we have a way of activating fields. So what I want to take you through is actually how we go about creating power views and how we add pieces to them. The individual pieces like maps, charts, we'll talk about in other videos. I'll put the links to those in the information section of this video. So for now, let's imagine that we don't have a power view and I have my data and I want to create one. Well, you do that by clicking into your data anywhere going into the insert tab keeping in mind this is a table uh, I have set this up as a table uh, if you needed information about that you can always check out my video on tables so I've clicked into the table gone to the insert tab and you have a button here called power view now the first time you do this it might actually warn you or, or tell you that it needs to enable something called uh, power pivot uh, which is an added and you can simply say yes it's gonna enable it and then I believe you have to restart Excel you gotta close and reopen it in any case uh, I've already done that so when I click uh, power view it pops up a box and right now it asks me to create a new one or add to my existing one it's not gonna ask you this if this is the first power view you're creating so for sake of example I'm just gonna say create a power view sheet and then what we're given is we're given basically the table that we had on this data tab except it's now been added to this power view. So first thing would be how do we change this? Um, so the first thing we'll go over is resizing. When you have something that's part of your power view, you can actually move your mouse over to the corner, you get the double headed arrow, and you can resize this box to whatever size you would like for this particular view. Then of course we can determine what we want to see. So when I've sized it to the size I'd like, maybe I don't want all of this information. Well that can be done when this is active, over on the side and it says power view fields and I can actually choose uh, what I'd like to see in that table you can see as I start unchecking these items it's showing me uh, the updated table here and this of course is not affecting my data whatsoever all the fields are just stored there if we want to move this you can actually move your mouse over the border it's a, a bit of a funny icon normally we'd expect the four um, pointed arrows in this case you get a hand and you can click and drag this to any portion of your screen. And once you're happy, you let go, and it puts the power view there. Now, there's a lot of other features related to the view. Uh, we can filter, we can tile, we'll, we'll talk about that later on. The big thing here now is if I wanted to add additional set of information to this view. And this can be a bit cumbersome, right? If I can go to power view, you can look for it here, you can go to power pivot. In any case, one of the simpler ways to do this is just to click in a blank area of your power view and then over on the side you simply check what fields you want and it's going to add a new set of data once you have that new set of data in on the design tab you can then choose what you like that piece of data to be so we can decide if we want it to be a chart or a map or any of those other pieces of data which i'll be talking about in detail we can of course move it resize it and that creates another part of our power view. So these features are quite easy to use, assuming you know a few simple tricks, how to add new items in, and of course, how to create maps, how to create charts, and all those types of things, which we'll be talking about in a couple other videos. Remember, I put the link to the video in the information section uh, at the top of this video. So be sure to check those other ones out if you need more information about how to use power view in Excel.